So how did the fire start at the Notre Dame Cathedral? Well, it's not certain. There is currently an investigation into the matter. The fire started at 6.30 p.m. local time, and the cause was not certain, but they say it could be potentially linked to ongoing renovations. And I think this is really important to understand. It is potentially linked. So that is not the final say on the cause of the fire, but just speculation. It is also interesting that a spokesman for the cathedral said, at this moment, we don't know how the fire started. There shouldn't have been any workmen on the site because they stopped working between 5 p.m. and 5.30. With this information, I mean, can you blame people for asking questions? It is perfectly likely that Sure, this was an accident, but there may be reasons why people have questions, legitimate questions. For instance, there's the fact that for the past year, churches all over France have been the target of arson and vandalism, and the Notre Dame Cathedral was the target of an attempted ISIS attack in 2016. So it is probably reasonable for the French people to question and demand proper investigation. During an interview with Newsweek, a representative of the Observatory of Intolerance and Discrimination Against Christians in Europe explained how there is a rising hostility in France against the church and symbols of the church. The observatory also says that there has been an increase of 25 percent in attacks on Catholic churches in the first two months of 2019 compared to last year. They say the pressure is coming from the radical secularist or anti-religion groups as well as feminist activists who tend to target churches as a symbol of the patriarchy that needs to be dismantled. The responsibility is now on the French government to prove that this wasn't an attack and start behaving in a way in which the French people might want to believe them for once. Can you blame people for having questions even if it is an accident? Police in Paris have launched an investigation, and the city's prosecutor, Remy Height, said that it was too early to determine a cause. The investigation was said to be focusing on an involuntary cause. By Tuesday morning, in under 24 hours with no evidence other than that there were no workmen on the scene, the Paris prosecutor confirmed that the incident is being treated as an accident and not as arson. So with no evidence, no answers to the cause of the fire, the only evidence is that there were no workmen on the site, and France has had an ongoing problem with church vandalism, they are focusing on the investigation as an involuntary cause. Now, I'm not saying that it is an attack, but if it is too early to determine the cause, why are they pointing their investigation into an involuntary cause? Why not consider all possibilities and not point the investigation in any direction, but let the evidence guide the investigation? If you like that and want to see more, don't forget to check, about, check out rebelparis.com. And uh, if you'd like to help support our cause and uh, cover some of the last minute flights and hotels so that we can get on the ground and cover reporting in Europe, please go to rebelparis.com.